Hello, welcome to Lagoons Do It Better TV, where we give you bite-sized segments on how to make your lagoon do it better. I'm Patrick Hill, here with my co-host Brady O'Leary. And we're here to talk about that phrase that he just said, lagoons do it better. It's a phrase that we genuinely believe, we believe it so much that it's on the walls in our office, it's, uh, it's embossed on a window here, it's on our business card. Uh, it covers everything we do. So we're here to talk about what that means and, and why we say it. We know that statement may seem controversial to some, and it's not the conventional wisdom. You know, people feel that with new nutrient limits coming for phosphorus and ammonia and nitrogen, that, you know, lagoons are going to get regulated out of existence. You've got to replace your lagoon with a mechanical plant. And we're here to tell you that that's not the case. There's a whole bunch of wastewater treatment technology processes out there. You've got activated sludge, uh, MBRs, SBRs, old Imhoff tanks. And there's a lot of ways to skin the cat. Uh, we think lagoons, we know lagoons are the, the best way to do that, especially for small towns. Uh, lagoons are the oldest wastewater treatment technology out there, dating back to the Roman times. Uh, you know, there's a logic of, well, let's get rid of our waste, let's put it into a hole in the ground. The next step is, let's put all of our waste in a hole in the ground. Uh, and they, they remain to this day. Uh, in the United States, one third of all wastewater treatment facilities has a lagoon in some part of its treatment process for about six or 7,000 lagoons nationwide. Yeah, so for the, for the communities that operate lagoon systems, they're really cost effective uh, a way of treating your wastewater. First of all, they're not very expensive to build. And then once you put them in place, they're not very expensive to operate. The operations costs are minimal and they just seem to work. You know, you don't have to go out there and hold the hand, worry about recirculation rates or, 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 or pumping rates or, or whatever the case may be. Lagoons just make it happen. They actually do do it better in our minds. Mm -hmm. And they're faced by some new challenges these days. Lagoons were designed in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, or maybe even five years ago, but they were designed to treat BOD and TSS. They originally weren't designed to treat nitrogen, phosphorus, or a subcomponent of nitrogen, ammonia, um, but they can be upgraded to do that. We can help these lagoons do it better by adding on processes to make lagoons meet new challenges. Right. So. When you add these processes onto the equation, you can really achieve as good, if not better, effluent than a mechanical plant. And in fact, there was a study done by the University of Illinois that looked at lagoon systems, and along with all the different types of wastewater systems that's out there, activated sludge, SBRs, MBRs, you name it. And they were actually looking specifically at sort of the microcontaminants that they're starting to study now and how that impacts the environment. Things like pharmaceutical waste and human hormones. And what they found was lagoons actually do do it better. They treat for that waste better than any other type of system. So in the end, you know, it's possible if there's ever regulation around those things that mechanical plants, SBRs, might have to add a lagoon in order to meet that regulation. So this could come completely full circle from the conventional wisdom of where we're sitting today. Mm -hmm. And this is our mission. We're here to spread the word. Uh, we're, we're getting out there. We're, we're sponsoring education session, sessions. We're writing lots of blogs, uh, helping you to help your lagoon do it better. We have videos. We do trainings. We've got a Facebook group. We're trying to get people, like-minded people together here on Lagoons Do It Better. Uh, so it's a, it's a great thing we're trying to do. So go to our website. Check out tpenv.com forward slash LDIB. You'll see it here on the bottom of your screen. Um, Look at where we're doing education sessions. We bring in expert speakers to teach you how to do your lagoons, do it better. You know, read our blogs, look at our videos, register for those things, and we'll send them to you uh, via email every time they come out. And, and, and sign up to our Facebook group so you can connect with other operators. And if you do all three of those things, I'll tell you what, we'll even send you our camo hat, free of charge, no questions asked. <laughs> Uh, so that's about all the time we have today, at least for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or, or thoughts, let us know. There Maybe there's a comment section down there, I don't know. Uh, but let us know what you think. And uh, if you have any questions you'd like answered on Lagoon Do It Better TV, uh, send us a, an email. Again, put it in the comments or go onto Facebook. Great. Well, thanks for joining us today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.